Hi friends, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're at beautiful Hakuna Bay in Karengai National Park and in today's video I'll be showing you how I prepare my makeup brush washing soap formula. That's a really long word but I can't really think of a shorter version of that. And we're having a beautiful day out today fishing and it's such a beautiful day I don't want you guys to miss out so I want to share with you guys the view. I'm a big believer of keeping my brushes clean and in tip-top shape. Not only is it beneficial for your brushes, but also it keeps your cosmetics products more hygienic and give you a clean makeup application every time. Hence, that's why I clean my brushes after every use and I've altered the formula over the years and now I've achieved a ratio that I think to be the best. So we're back at home now and not only does this formula keep your brushes super clean, it's also antibacterial, conditions the bristles of your makeup brush, super easy to rinse off and it also retains less conditioner residue so it doesn't create that hard top on your powder or mineral products which I found to be the case when I was just using purely baby shampoo and as you can see from this blush right here, this dark portion on the bottom is basically a hard top and you can't get any product off of there unless you go through with a little knife to scrape off that hard top which is a waste. And also everything we are using in the formula is super gentle on the hands so if you need to wash a whole lot of makeup brushes at once you won't come out with dry hands. And best of all everything we are using is super affordable, easily accessible and really really easy to make. We only need 3 products. And the first one is this Johnson's Baby Conditioning Shampoo and this will give you the conditioning ability of your brush cleanser and we need about one portion of this. So just eyeing this out in my little bottle. One. Okay. That's about one. The second product in the formula is a dishwashing detergent and this one I'm using is the Palmolive Gentle Care Dry Skin with a touch of alloy and as you can see it's gentle on the hands and basically this will enhance the cleaning abilities of your formula by quickly removing the oil based product in your bristles and also it will dilute down the conditioning abilities from that baby shampoo. And we need about one portion of this, so just eyeing it out again, one. And the very last item we need is an antibacterial hand soap and it all says it in the name this will basically get rid of bacteria in your dirty hand soap and we need about a quarter of this. So if everything in here is one portion, we need a quarter portion. So probably just one squirt in my little bottle here. As you can see, everything we use today in this little formula is super gentle and effective for your brush cleaning. It can create a really great lather and you can water this down and put it in a spray bottle if you prefer your brush cleansers that way. To make sure you rinse all of the soapy residues off your brush, I always like to give my brushes a good smell and if they're still fragrant on the brush, I rinse it some more. My rule of thumb is about 10 minutes for bigger brushes, 7 minutes for smaller brushes for rinsing and if you find that to be too time consuming or wasting a lot of water, I always like to wash about 2-3 to three brushes at once to save the time. And I believe rinsing your brushes thoroughly is extremely vital. Not only the soapy residue will damage the glue within the barrel of your brush over time, but also damage your powder or mineral products like this by creating a hard top. Also, when it comes to drying your brush with a soapy residue, it won't dry properly. I hope this brush cleanser video was able to help you in your makeup and beauty adventures. If you found this video helpful, please do like down below. And if it is your first time here and you enjoy this video, please do subscribe down below. It helped me out so much. Also, I have a video showing you guys how I wash and dry my brushes. It's super simple and it uses everything around the house. And the drying method, in my opinion, is the best. So do check out that video as well. And if you have any handy makeup tips, please do share them with the community down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye! I'm going to wash my dirty brushes now and these are the Real Techniques Bold Metal Collection.